So currently at this point in time, whenever I do a review or a demo, it's usually for two reasons. Uh, either I'm getting rid of that piece of gear or I'm so in love with the piece of gear, I can't say enough good about it that I just have to basically blabber and blabber and run my mouth about how great it is uh, to the world. Um, now, in this case, um, I'm actually getting rid of the 511 Prees. Uh, I ended up upgrading probably about two months ago to the 88 RLB, uh, and it works a lot better for me, and that's why I did it. Now, on that note, these are incredible sounding preamps. Uh, I think they are a massive upgrade to any of the stock, you know, interface preamps or converter preamps that you might have. Um, definitely hold their own in a number of ways and can compete with a lot of the other things in the same price range. Uh, when you think Neve, you think fat, saturated, punchy, transformer goodness, you know, very hard hitting and just beautiful. Um, and these definitely do that. I do think that the silk knob, uh, you know, adds something, a lot of character that, you know, you can't really get in a lot of other preamps in that same price range. That being said, for this demo, I didn't do a full track. I just did basically an instrumental to kind of demonstrate how this thing is going to sound on bass, guitars, drums, acoustics, and just kind of give you that sort of, you know, incredible Neve feel through a rock track, driving hard rock track. Um, guitars were tracked through the Neve. The acoustic was tracked through the Neve. The bass was tracked through the Neve. The drums were God City drums. Uh, I love the way they sound. I just threw a quick just drum fill together um, and then actually ran it out uh, through uh, stereo into a pair of the 511s so you can hear what they sound like saturating a drum bus track basically. I then did the same thing for the entire mix, a little bit different saturation settings just so you can hear how these things sound on basically a, a mix or master bus uh, putting in transformer goodness into a track. You, you can really hear how it kind of undigitalizes things if that makes sense. And that's pretty much what I used these for when I had them. That was the majority use for them, basically having a dedicated hardware preamp just for saturation. And I think that's what, for me, worked best. But again, you can use these things at all sorts of different sources and uh, I'm a huge fan of it on the bass and toms. I think it sounds great on those, but saturation for me was like kind of the big selling point and I think why I ended up snagging them. Um, Without further ado, let's just jump right in.
saturation from the 511s. Saturation from Brainworks. So my opinion on these guys, I think it's an incredible sounding preamp. I think it sounds awesome. Uh, definitely a huge upgrade from whatever stock preamps you're using in your audio interface or converter. And definitely gives you that Neve goodness, that thick fat saturation that Neve is really known for. Is it a 1073? No. Can it put you in the same realm? That's really up to you to decide. But my opinion as like a final kind of leave you with this sort of thing, um, when these first came out, they were $545. And I think that is an exquisite price point. I think that price is absolutely um, just perfect right on the dot. Um, I wouldn't really want to pay more for them knowing that they were at one point $545. In early 2020-ish, I think they went up to the current price tag, which they're at $645. Um, for just a little bit more money, you can snag an AMS Neve uh, 88 RLB, which is exactly what I did. Uh, or, you know, there's other options in that, you know, six, seven hundred ish dollars, seven hundred and fifty dollars range. Uh, and you can definitely even get some authentic 1073s for that price in the used market uh, if you come up on a deal and keep looking for one. That being said, I do think it is a great preamp. I do think it sounds amazing and it works pretty much excellent on every source I've thrown at it. Um, definitely on bass, definitely on toms, uh, definitely on some kick and snare occasionally. And uh, like I said, I primarily used it for saturation, which uh, you know you can definitely hear in this video. It's a no brainer for me. Um, but yeah, I moved on to the authentic news and uh, so I had to basically get rid of these guys. If this video has been at all helpful for you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I know tons of people who have the 511s. I know tons of people who swear by them and use them on everyday sources. Um, you know, it's it's a definite conversational piece of just, hey, I have one of those too. What do you think of it? And so forth and so on. But it's, uh, it's a great piece, and I'd love to hear your feedback 
um, on the 511 or any other pre that you think sounds as good as the 511. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and thanks for checking out the video.